Well, we're back here at Claflin Hill uh, World Headquarters office and uh, continuing talking about our upcoming symphony concert on March 3rd, which is Iberian Legends. Um, last time we talked quite a bit about Strauss and uh, Don Quixote, which is one of the anchor pieces of the program. And last night I got to go down to Connecticut to meet with our, our guest guitar soloist who's coming up to perform with us again, Daniel Salazar. He was last year about 10, 12 years ago. Um, and we went over the score of the Concerto de Aranjuez by Joaquin Rodrigo, and my Spanish is not very elegant, probably. So, But uh, that's one of the central pieces, and actually the starting point for building the entire program uh, when we were thinking about what to do last year for this coming season. Um, this guitar concerto was something I've been hoping to do for a number of years. And talking to Daniel uh, over the last year as he visited to, to be in the audience for some of our concerts, we talked about definitely doing it this year. It's a beautiful piece. Joaquin Rodrigo was a Spanish composer, lived and worked through the uh, bulk of the 1900s in Spain. Um, I just realized he died only in 1999, so he was working for a very long time through the 19, 1900s, 20th century, well, where mostly a very different kind of music was going on. Um, Rodrigo wanted to evoke a time of Spanish history of nobility, of uh, grace and patrician good manners um, that existed, say, in the late Baroque, early classical period of music. and. The, the guitar concerto is based um, in part in several of the movements on um, Spanish flamenco dance rhythms and and uh, these sort of Baroque style dances that that the nobility did at court. Uh, the central movement of the piece, which is very uh, familiar to people, as soon as you start to hear it, you're hearing it right now, you're going to realize you've heard this, you know, in in everyday pop culture, it's, it's come to be used. Um, now this movement actually evokes the town of Aranjuez, which was a beautiful, um, almost vacation um, resort for, for people of the Spanish nobility in the 1700s. And they went there in the summer to get out of Madrid and um, has beautiful gardens and, and quiet and solitude. Um, Rodrigo and his wife visited there early in their marriage, maybe, I'm not sure, on their honeymoon or right after it, um, and spent some time there. Now, Rodrigo was actually blind from the age of three or four, um, so he has vague only Im uh, remembrances of, of color and images and shape as, as we know them. Um, and his wife was almost like his guide who described the beauty around them, and he wanted to in his mind's eye to create that musical painting of, of these gardens of Aranuez. There's kind of a bittersweet aspect to it um, from the, as the story goes as well. Um, Rodrigo's wife was with child at the time. It was foreseen to be a difficult pregnancy and there was even question as to whether or not she could successfully uh, birth a baby. Um, in the end, so this was underlying a lot of uh, Rodrigo's thoughts as they were on this visit to Aranjuez. Um, in fact, the baby did die, he had a young son who died, and so this piece now is almost a memorial to that, that son and also to that better time that Rodrigo experienced with his beautiful wife in the beautiful gardens of Aranjuez. Um, that pairing together with the Strauss Don Quixote um, really is almost a by kismet kind of a perfect matching of music inspired by a certain time in Spanish history of grace and of manners and and nobility and um, creating a more ideal world in which to exist. Um, in experiencing this visit to Spain through the symphony season program this year, um, perhaps we can take away lessons or ideals on how we can perhaps bring that 
that patrician this back into our own daily lives. ClafflinHill.org, March 3rd, Daniel Salazar, classical guitar, music Strauss, um, Rodrigo, and more. It's going to be fun. See you there.